Hello. I'd like to talk to you, all of you, about a major lie that takes place in the dark world of psychiatry. Lobotomies still take place. You may say that they don't do that anymore, and everyone says they don't do that anymore, but they do it. I saw it happen, it's been done to me. And my goal is to testify that lobotomy practice still exists. And so basically, me, in past videos I expressed about lobotomy, it still takes place. If it didn't, why would I have had one? To clear up about the lobotomy that I witnessed happened that I saw a man talking about procedure they're going to do to him. They didn't say exactly how they're going to do it. They said they're going to have the surgery on his brain. And all of a sudden I heard them call his name. A group of people, five, ten people, came into the room. They watched, walked away with him. And one of them turned around and said that he was being lobotomized. And then, and then, he came out a few minutes later and he was a different person. He basically said, speaks a little bit slower. And then what happened, the, he said he couldn't see. The surgery they did to him, they couldn't see. A woman sat in the room with him in the lo lobby of the, the day room of the of the, um, the treatment, the doctor's office. And he said she was talking to him, smiling. I saw him and he said that he couldn't see. Looks like something happened to his eyes. This is real. This really is. I'm not making this up. They do this. I heard other people talking about how they're homeless and they go sign up for a exam sign up or a survey or whatever, and they bring people in. And they try, I believe, trying to lobotomize the homeless so they would be easier to manage. And give them money to take the survey. The person talking about them doing it was, she said that they ran out, that they had they ran out of funds and that they weren't accepting any more applicants. I believe that was an excuse to give them lobotomy. They come in, we were bribed to come in, and then they lobotomize them. Well, hopefully that's a conspiracy theory for that one. I believe it was, I believe what they're trying to do is lobotomize them, but that, I didn't see that one take place, but heard people talking about it. And no, I'm not hearing voices for that one. But the thing is, the lobotomy practice still takes place. It's real. They still do it. But why I said that women are the ones doing it, although that's kind of conceited, the thing is, because all the times I've heard people talk about a lot of being done. It's always talked about by women. And I always figure that, well, if they don't like men, then... Well, not sexually. I mean, if they don't like... If they hate men, why not go into a career that basically practices lobotomizing the men? So they can gloat over them and all that stuff. That's what happened to me. All the women in the clinic gloated after over me when I was lobotomized. But that's just a 
Sierra Sea Fairy. But I, the real pack, I saw lobotomy. I've been lobotomized. Have you ever thought of a computer? How do you pro how do you get a computer to do what you want it to do? You program it? No, you build it. If it's not capable to be done through the hardware, the software won't work no matter what you do. I was lobotomized. Changed everything. What's your life? Of course, you get old better over the months or years, but all these years the thing's been drifting on the cloud. And so basically, I've never been the same. Seems like the last eight years just blew right by. Well, that's all I can say. Bye.